and we are back for the next segment of lecture 3 repeat until the task is over is the topic for this lecture so this is for for and while loops important a lot of things that you must know else your loop will not run or for that matter it will not stop so how do we go about carrying out this loops why do we need to repeat well do we do it every day we repeat there are so many examples I have given here you can read it programming is no different assume you have 1 lakh customers and we have to calculate their bank balance at the end of the day so we will repeat our task to all the 1 lakh customers for loop very difficult right a repetitive task that you have to do on a regular basis you don't want to do the same thing again and again you want to find easier ways of carrying out your daily operations so for a loop you can use for loop in two ways one is method one syntax for i in range start stop step size i can be anything i have given it i for uh, the convenience you can give it any name any name for that matter method 2 syntax for i in list or tuple name we will see so method 1 for i in range 1 comma 10 at a step size of 2 so here we are talking about the first element ending at the 10th element means minus 1 and at a step size of 2 so we are starting at first element so position would be so the answer is 1 3 5 7 1 so here we are taking the 0 position as 1 right very important very crucial must remember do not forget then we have the next method my list 6 23 12 89 47 62 and 50 for i in my list 6 i have the 6 number print i instead of writing above we could have named it anything cat dog owl etc but whatever you name it in for loop remember to use the same name inside also notice that after for there is tab for the next line onwards right so I am going to do a little correction here so method 1 for abracadabra in range 1 comma 10 at a step size of 2 so instead of I, I have given abracadabra, print abracadabra, 13579. Similarly, in the next one, I have given rum pump, rum pump rum. So here, instead of giving all these fancy names, best is you give I. So below, we will see how to make use of it. Suppose we want to know square and cube of every number from 90 to 100. We will do it as below using method 1 for i in range 90 comma 101 comma 1 print i want square of i i want it to be separated with an empty space and i also want the cube so starting from 90 i want to go up to 101 so minus 1 at an interval of 1 so 90 then will come 91 then 92 93 94 ending at 100 so here we will start at 0 position so 90 will become 0 position and 100 and the 100 we will stop it at the 100th position now below we will see how to make use of it suppose we want to know square and cube of every number from 90 to 100 we will do it as below using method 2 list values i have given 90 to 100 number for i in list values print this you can do it this way 
you can do it this way or you can do it the way I showed you which is much simpler and easier. So as we can see both give same output. The choice is problem specific and programmer's taste and style specific. Moving on to the next loop. We will take a break here.